Express certainty. I just read your proposal. What did you think about it? You definitely have some good ideas. Well, I worked on it very hard. I'm concerned about the cost, though. I thought you might be. Here's a cost analysis I ran. It says here that your proposal will pay for itself in a year. That's what I put in the report. That's impressive. If this is true, I'm certain this can work. I'm quite sure it will work. You have done a good job. We'll discuss this at our next meeting. I appreciate your confidence in me. Express likes. Hello, my name is George. What's your name? Hi, George. I'm Christine. Nice to meet you. Hi, Christine. Have you worked here long? Almost two years now. And you? This is my first week. I really like it so far. Yes, it's a good place to work. I like how it seems so organized. That's one of the things I like best too. The benefits aren't bad either. No, they're not. I especially like the health plan. That's great. I'll be eligible in July for that. You're gonna like it here. This is the best place I've worked. Making promises. I know a lot of you have been working double shifts lately. Yes, we have. I am pleased to say that we have hired some help. All right, that's great. When do they start? One person will start next week. The others will follow. Only one? You promised more help last week. I know I did, but the search has taken longer than I thought. Oh no, that's terrible. Don't worry. I promise you all, I'll get some help. Okay, thanks. These sixteen-hour days are killing us. Help is on in the way. I promise. That's good enough for us. Express uncertainty. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I was wondering if you read my report. Yes, I did read your report. Well, what did you think? To be truthful, I didn't like it much. Oh no! Why not? I don't have the time to discuss this now. Let's make an appointment. Okay, but generally speaking, what was wrong with it? I just don't feel confident in it. I can make it work. All I need is time. I like your enthusiasm, but it's too risky. Sorry. Asking for permission. Hello. This is my first time here. I could use some help. Okay, I can help. What is it you want to do? I need to use the database on your computer. Well, I need something from you before I can allow you to do that. What do you need from me? I will need you to fill out this form and show me some identification. Okay, I'll do that. I can then search your database. Oh no, you will need to ask for permission. Here's the form and my ID. Wonderful. You can ask Mr. Lee for permission now. That's super. Thanks. You're welcome. Good luck. Accepting excuses for not meeting commitments. Please have a seat. Thank you. I'm very disappointed in you. I know. Believe me, I tried very hard to make your deadline. I was depending on that report. I know, but unexpected circumstances came up. Unexpected circumstances? Yes, I would have had it ready in time, but the computer crashed. The company computer crashed? Yes, it did. I had weeks of saved work on it when it crashed. So your report was ready? Yes, it was. The crash deleted all my work. Okay, I'll check with IT. Thanks. You're welcome. Making a phone call. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great, but a little nervous. Why is that? I have a phone interview for a job in an hour. A phone interview? That's great. It is, but I'm convinced I'm going to mess it up. Oh, you shouldn't say that. You'll be fine. I wish I had your confidence. Just relax and be yourself. A phone interview is easier than in person. That's right. I wasn't looking at it that way. Be yourself. Don't pretend to be anyone else, and you'll do well. Offering help. 
Hi, Michelle. What are you up to? I'm looking for work online. Cool. What kind of job are you looking for? I need a part time job, but I'm not doing too well. I'm pretty good at this. Can I help? You sure can. Okay, let's see. You can narrow your search on this site. How can I do that? Go to the advanced search button and click on it. I see it. Okay, now what? There are many options. You can search by city, by job, or by pay. I see. Let me try searching by city. Thanks. Asking questions at an interview. That concludes my part of the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, thank you, Mr. Thompson. I do. Okay, what's on your mind? Is this a new position? Yes, we have created this position recently. If you hire me, when do you want me to start? We plan to hire someone by the end of this month. Are there some times of the year that are busier than others? Yes, the summer months are very busy here. That's good to know. Does it matter if I take night classes? No, the hours for the job are in the daytime. Okay, I have no more questions. Thank you. Looking for a job. Hey, Dennis, this is Ron. How's it going? Hi, Ron. I'm looking for a summer job. I was hoping you could help me. Okay, how could I help you? Well, I was wondering if you could hook me up at the place that you work. No problem. I don't know if they're hiring right now, but I'll find out. Oh man, you're the bomb. What kind of job are you interested in doing? Anything you think I could do would be fine. I'll talk to my boss in the morning and get back to you. Thanks, man. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Anything else you need for me to do? No, I'm waiting to hear from you. Express dislikes. Oh, I am so tired. I know what you mean. I don't know if I can continue working like this. I know. I've been doing it a lot longer than you. Isn't there something we can do? I've complained about the double shifts before. What has management told you? They said they're hiring more people and that this is temporary. I need this job, but I don't like these hours at all. Just hang in there. I'm sure it will change. It had better change, and the sooner the better. You're right. People may start leaving. Greeted by receptionist. Good morning. Welcome to ABC Technologies. Hi. Good morning. How can I help you? I have an appointment with Mr. Rogers today. Oh, what time is that? I don't see it on his schedule. Well, there's no set time. I'm an old friend of his. Okay, let me call him. What is your name? I'm Tom Williams. He will know me. Just a minute, sir. Please take a seat. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Williams. Mr. Rogers will see you soon. That's wonderful. I know how busy he is. Thanks. Express disagreement. Hey, are you busy? Not at the moment. What's going on? I wanted to run something by you. It's an idea for work. Okay, shoot. Well, I'm thinking of asking my boss to change the work schedule. Why? What's your idea? It's to change from five eight hour days to four ten hour days. Wow, that's a big change. I don't think he'll go for it. It's still 40 hours per week, and everyone will get an extra day off. I don't think it will work. It's not a good idea. Why is it not a good idea? Companies should be open five days a week. Sorry, I don't like it. Talking on the phone. Hello. Hi, baby. It's Joe. What's up, honey? I just got off work. What are you doing tonight? I don't have any plans. I'll be getting home about six o'clock. Well, I got a hold of some Dodger tickets for tonight. How did you manage that? A friend at work was selling them. He couldn't go himself. That's great. Who are they playing? They're playing the Giants. It should be a good game. All right then. Count me in. Okay, I'll pick you up at six thirty.
Rearranging an appointment. Good afternoon, Jet Office Products. Hello, my name is Richard Lee. I need to reschedule an appointment. I could help you with that. I have an appointment for 9 a.m. Tuesday that I need to change. Who was your appointment with? I was scheduled to see Mrs. Roberts. Okay, thank you for calling. You're welcome. Can I reschedule? Yes, of course. When will you be free? Does Mrs. Roberts have any time on Wednesday? No, but she's free Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. That's perfect. Thank you. I'll see her then. Responding to a plea for help. Hey, Richard, I could use your help. What is it, Jerry? I can't seem to land an interview. Have you applied to many places? Yes, I have. I've sent out about 50 resumes. Did you include cover letters? On some I did, others no. Well, that may be your problem. You should always include a cover letter. Really? Why? It shows you took the time to research the company. HR people like that. Okay, I will. Thanks. You're welcome. I think you will see more interest in your resume now. Payment not received. Did you bring the mail in today? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, great. I'm waiting for my unemployment check. It's late. Sorry to tell you, your payment didn't come today. No way. Darn it. It's more than a week. Late. Why don't you call EDD? I think they can tell you where it is. I definitely need to call them. I think it's an automated system. Oh, darn. I don't like automated systems. The EDD system is not so bad. Okay, I'll call. This is the longest the check has ever taken to get to me. If you have problems with the system, you can speak to a person by dialing zero. How to prepare for an interview. I was hoping you could help me. I'll try. What help do you need? I'm having an interview tomorrow morning. I'm very nervous. That's great. Why are you nervous, though? I don't do well in interviews. They can be frightening, but you can do it. I'm afraid they'll ask me something I won't know. You should prepare yourself. Go online and look at their website. Now, why didn't I think of that? It's a good idea to know everything you can about them first. That's an excellent idea. You're Thanks. Well You're welcome. If you need more help, give me a call. Talking to people at ADD. Hello, my name is George. Hello, George. How can I help you?